Happy Pancake Day and welcome to today's special video which is two ingredient protein pancakes. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is my food for thought, our daily health tip. Now today we're in the kitchen because it is Pancake Day and today we're going to make some very special two ingredient quick cook pancakes. Now you can use any uh, protein powder to make these uh, uh, pancakes. However, I have something really special and really new. I wish this was smelly vision, guys, because this is banana pancake vegan protein. It smells amazing. I can smell the pancake flavours. I can smell the banana flavours. This is really delicious. So that's what we're going to be making today. And all we're going to do is mix it with an egg. So as simple as that, guys, these are the two ingredients. We're also asking, adding a tiny little bit of water as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in a protein shaker. Just a little bit of water, guys. That's all you need, a quarter of a cup. And then we're adding to this a scoop of the Arbonne powder, which is the banana powder. Now, if you've got the scoop, fine. If you haven't got the scoop, it's basically a heaped dessert spoon of the powder. Uh, and this will work out at roughly about 150 calories for a couple of small pancakes. So again, calorie wise, it's great. And it is, of course, high in protein. So I'm just banging in there one egg, the protein powder and a little bit of milk. Have you had your pancakes already guys? That is the question. So what I'm now doing is adding into the shaker the lid. Now for those of you who use protein shakers it's really important that you hold the lid. I've had that issue many times before. And as you know, I'm, not, I'm in Claire's kitchen today, so I definitely want, don't want this sort of issue today. So I'm just shaking that up, and you should start to see we have a lovely mixture coming together. Now in this small frying pan, what I'm gonna be doing is putting the fire on. And I'm going to be cooking it in a little bit of coconut oil. So not only will this give it some lovely flavour, it will also give you some good fats. Oh, it's a brand new one. I remember Claire saying that. So let's break the seal on the coconut oil. And we are going to have a little bit of coconut oil. Now, if you like coconut, great. If you don't like coconut, then I would recommend cold pressed rapeseed oil, guys. So cold pressed rapeseed oil is your alternative if you're not really a coconut fan, which I know a lot of people are not. Asda used to sell uh, something called um, non-flavoured or non-fragrant. It was basically coconut oil that didn't taste like coconut. I know it sounds absurd, doesn't it? But that's what they did. I don't believe it's still available though. Right, so we have a generous amount of coconut fat now on there. And I think we're probably gonna be able to make two uh, pancakes. Yes, Aaron, you went on your uh, jolly up to Liverpool and we never heard you after that. We thought you were, <laughs> we're just about to contact the police. Uh, to mark you lost, my friend. <laughs> right, so this is warm. Now we don't want it too warm, guys. Just bear that in mind. And all we're going to do is fry off our lovely batter. Now I don't know about you, but I do prefer thinner pancakes. Quicker to cook, easier to toss, etc, etc. So a nice low heat, and that is just gonna cook off. You see, I've used about half the mixture there, so this will give me two medium pancakes. And on the top of it, I'm gonna be adding some fresh blueberries. So it's great to obviously get your five fruit a day in by adding a little bit of freshness. Now, while that's slowly cooking on the hob there, I'm just gonna show you what else I've got here in the kitchen. 
Uh, you could also, if you weren't adding protein on it, so you're adding regular pancakes, how about adding some seeds to your pancakes to get that protein in? These are chia seeds, linseed, sunflower seeds, and we've also got some pumpkin seeds here as well. So I repeat, if you're not using protein powder, this is a good way to get your protein in. Uh, Aaron, this is about 150 calories for these two pancakes. If you wanted to use the uh, rapeseed oil, this is cold pressed rapeseed oil. Now let's talk sugar guys. This is the exciting bit. What are you, you going to add on top to make those blueberries and this pancake taste amazing? We've got some algae nectar, which is basically a natural sweetener. This is maple syrup with added fruit sugar. Uh, and one of my personal favorites is sweet freedom, which is also fruit sugar. Per teaspoon, 19 calories, I believe. So that's nice and cheap. Uh, and if you are looking for any alternatives for flour, making regular pancakes, uh, I would recommend going for almond or coconut flour. Now, coconut flour used to be about 10 quid, I repeat, 10 quid for this much. They now sell it in LD for 150. Absolutely fill your boots, guys. That is genius from our friends at Aldi. Now, let's go to our pancake. Now, it's almost... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm not happy with this, guys. I wanted to toss it, but I'm scared. Oh, come on. For those of you, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, my pancake session was very unsuccessful. And I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening today, but it's also very unsuccessful. I think I might have added a little bit too much water in, guys. But it still smells lovely and uh, it will taste good. But we want a whole pancake, don't we? But don't worry, we'll try again. This is why it's good that we've got a extra butter. Now the other secret to adding fruit as well, guys, is to cut your fruit up in half, and that way when the berries enter your mouth, you will get the lov lovely sweet flavor, instead of having to chew on them before the flavor comes up. So why my bad pancake is cooking off. I'm just going to cut a couple of blueberries ready to add. If you want to add it into your batter you can. I prefer not to. And that's all I'm adding guys. I'm not adding too much. Now that pancake is now done. So I'm now going to transfer onto the plate. Now, that's definitely not a photogenic sort of pancake, is it? So let's try again. What I'm gonna do this time is to turn the heat down a little, and hopefully it will stay together. Take two. Right, so I'm using less of the mixture this time. I want it a nice, light texture. So less heat. Whilst that one is cooking, let's taste test this one. So as I said, it's gone lovely and golden look. It's got the right texture. But as I said, it just didn't stay in one piece. I think because it was the heat was a little bit too high, uh, then also the consistency is not quite thick enough to keep it all together. Let's give it a taste test. Wow. It's so weird having something that tastes like banana pancake because you almost don't need to make a pancake because you've already, <laughs> already got the taste. But it's definitely taste sensation. And as I said, this is a vegan protein, banana pancake flavour. I could literally just eat the whole thing. And again, because we're cooking it in the lovely coconut oil, 
it's nice and crispy. I'll just try a bit with a bit of blueberry as well. Magical guys. Taste sensation. And again, high in protein. Just got egg in there as well, so it's got a double amount of protein. So low in sugar. This is the most amazing thing. Right. Does this look like it's going to toss? Let's find out. There doesn't appear... Oh. There doesn't appear to be much oil hanging around. I'm not sure it is going to toss, guys. Oh! I've sort of flipped it in half. I'm sorry. We could try making a small one out <laughs> We're not going to stop them until we get it right. Right. The pressure's on now, guys. I'm going to have to take off my jacket. The pressure's really on Chef Slim Brother. Oh. Knocking Claire's magnet. You can tell Claire's short, by the way, guys. I've knocked my head a couple of times on some head, some uh, lights. Right. This is sort of going to work if you like your, your pancake a bit rolled up. Right, we'll finish cooking that one off. I'll turn the heat back up just to cook it off. And meanwhile, I'll show you guys again what we're eating. So this is just 150 calories of pancake with some fresh blueberries. Because we're using a protein powder that's got the sweetener and the flavours in, we actually don't need any of these uh, sweetening products. So that is the good news if you are using protein powder. Uh, and obviously the other two ingredient pancake mix is banana and egg. And as long as you are using bananas which are quite soft, and sweet, you shouldn't need anything on top because they should be quite tasty and sweet as well. Right. Let's get this on, off. And let's try one more time, guys. As Ariana Grande would say, one last time. So this time, I'm adding a little bit of coconut oil. Make sure your pan is secure. And then I've just got a little bit left. Come on guys, third time lucky. Now or never. What I'm going to do this time is let it cook a little bit more and hopefully by cooking it more it should go a little bit firmer and that way I can toss it. But it's hard making pancakes guys because it's that perfect balance between burning it and it not being firm enough to flip. So hopefully this one will be it. Just trying to make it round. For those of you just joining us, this is our special ingredient. This is the vegan banana pancake protein. So I'm just mix this with an egg, bit of water, and that's made our lovely batter. So these pancakes for one person are coming up around 150 calories. So for you, those of you who know a 
an experience about pancakes, then 150 for three medium-sized pancakes, as we've made this at lunchtime, is actually bang on. Right. I will put that there. Right, now I'll just show you. So it has firmed up, there's no loose bits. But as per my last two attempts, I just want to make it a little bit firmer. I might use this. Oh, even better, she's got a pink one. <laughs> I also will ask Claire later about this. I think this is what washing uh, dishwashers do to your wooden goods, guys. It kind of twists and moulds things. So yes, I'll be using the pink spatula, I think, this time. And hopefully, it might just get underneath the pancake a little bit more than the wooden one. I've turned the heat down, so we've got a nice low heat. Right, let me try and get under it. I know you want to see me tossing, guys. That's what this video is all about. Oh, yes! I think we're there, guys. Right, this one is ready to toss. Ready? Three. Two. Oh no, I feel scared now. I don't. I think because I need to take a photo. I feel like I should just turn it over manually. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to turn it over manually because I really want. Oh yes. Because I really want something that's going to look nice when I <laughs> take a photo. So we've successfully done it, guys. So the secret to that bit on the third stem was a low heat. Cooking it a little bit longer, so it had a uh, little bit um, of time to just firm up. Now the good news is, this uh, recipe where I made 300, where I made three pancakes, is 150 calories. Therefore, when I take the photo of this pancake with those few bits of blueberry, 50 calories. Perfect, guys. As you would imagine, that really is fantastic. Now what I'm going to do, because in my eyes you can't have enough of a bit of extra flavour. So just for fun, let's add a little bit of cinnamon as well, just to, because uh, it's next to nothing calorie wise. Let's clean this plate up guys, let's just eat this other pancake up. Share with me what you'll be doing pancake-wise today. Are you having regular ones? Are you making it from scratch? Have you bought one of those Poundland shakers where you just add water? Please don't do that. I've now finished and it is ready to serve. There we go. We have our blueberries. Let me just wash my hands again. As like I said, I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of cinnamon on there. Just to give it an extra dimension of flavour. And that's it, guys. So that is your protein banana pancake with banana protein in it. That's it from me. Thank you for joining me. Uh, as I said, please share your pancake recipes. What are you going to be doing? Leave us a comment, post your photos of your pancake, uh, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining me.